Osteopathy, that is, uh, osteopathy has been discovered by Andrew Taylor Steele, an American scientist. Once he lost three of his children, they died. He was a medical doctor. So he started to study the human body. How does it function? Why did, uh, I mean, the prescription drugs could not rescue his children from dying early? So he came up with the, forming the first college of osteopathic medicine in, in United States. And as you can see in the US, DO equivalent to MD. So he can practice medicine in, uh, as well as uh, in the same manner of a medical doctor. Uh, the importance here is that uh, he found that the body is a unit that is a combination of uh, the body, mind, and uh, spirit. And if one of these collapse, the entire system can collapse. So if you're spiritually upset, or you, you know, you're not in the spirit, I mean, or uh, your mind, you can, I mean, can stress can somewhere, somehow can cause a, a diabetes or can cause hypertension and so on. So it is just the entire system that need to function uh, by body, mind, and spirit. And he, what's interesting, he found that the, the function of the body, human body itself, it has its own mechanism for self-maintenance, self-healing, and self-regulation. So your body, it does its own mechanism. It's not like a technology, a vehicle. A vehicle, it needs to be containing the artificial fuels, whereas the human being, you need to maintain the natural fuels. So what is interesting here is that we found that a human body, when he's formed in the womb of his mother, the first thing that is being formed is amniotic fluid. And when we study amniotic fluid, we found that actually it's hot water, simply because amniotic fluid is formed by composed of 99% water. So only the tiny 1% of that is just uh, protein, collagen, and non-collagen, which is protein for the baby. So it's water. The temperature is hot. It's not warm. It's not cold. It's hot. Specifically, 37.5 degrees Celsius. So one degree higher than the normal mother's body's temperature. Any human being, a normal uh, body temperature is 36.5, 37. So you can imagine what does the web the source of energy that enter the body of the mother to maintain that fluid, the amniotic fluid, to remain hot, not warm, hot. So to provide a continuum energy for the cells to keep growing as the baby starts with one cell, the human body, every human being, myself, you, and you, and you, everybody has started through a fetal development. And it starts with one cell. The cells keep on growing exponentially until the time when the baby is born is made up of about 70 trillion cells. And in adults, it's made up of 100 trillion cells. And every single day, we have cells that fall. Apoptosis, about 50 to 70 billion cells. Every second, approximately 12 million cells fall. So new cells have to be redeveloped to compensate the dead cells. So we believe that the early death of human being is that the cells productivity stop because cells going through oxidation. We believe that, by, that the human body to generate the function of the body for self-healing, to heal yourself from any uh, foreign uh, bodies that enter the body that could cause any harm and self-regulation, self-maintenance.